this thing has popped its head up once again. Uh, <clears throat> this is one of those things that uh, makes me want to slap my head and, uh, you know, ponder the collective uh, intellectual nature of humanity. <laughs> um, uh, I've done some videos, uh, this is not about this particular camera, I've done some video reviews recently about the awesome Fuji X100T. And then someone sent me a link to, and this appear, this this problem raises its head all the time, sends me a link to this dude, some photographer guy, and he said the most, it's the title of the, uh, of the, uh, of the article is something like, the Fuji X100T, the the, the very best camera in the world that I would never buy. I think that's what it's called. Um, you know, I'm not pointing this person out because there are a lot of people that do this. You know, they're Nikon shooters or they're, uh, you know, Canon shooters. And they're like, I'm just going to stick those raw files in my, you know, Lightroom. And this was an article written like a year ago or a little over a year ago. And uh, the guy was talking about raw artifacts, and he even said I was using Lightroom. And it's like, oh my god, you know, this, this level of stupid has raised its head again. Hey, attention Fuji users, or anybody that's interested in buying Fuji. Uh, stop processing your Fuji raw files and making any determination upon the nature of Fuji by using the wrong raw processor for your Fuji raw files. That is stupid. I mean, yeah, the name of the, the, name of the article was... Uh, yeah, the very best, the Fuji X100T, the very best camera uh, that I would never buy. And the only reason he didn't want to buy it is because his processing Lightroom has since, has since gotten a little bit better at uh, processing uh, Fuji, Fuji RAW files. But uh, back when that article was written, it was sucked. So this person made a stupid conclusion based upon using the wrong... And recently, too, someone's like, I just got this camera off your recommendation. And this is no big deal. I mean, you know, not knowing something is okay. You know, you know, someone answer, asked me the question, and I answered, and the problem has since been fixed. You're like, I just bought this Nikon D7100 off your recommendation, and, you know, he sent me sample pictures like, man, that sucks. And it wasn't the camera, because there's really been no people, you know, I've probably had... 20,000 people buy that D7100 Nikon off my recommendations. No one's ever complained about this. He was just using a horrible, horrible, horrible image processor for, uh, I won't say which it is, but the, the problem has since been rectified. So all you Fuji users out there, they're like, I'm going to give the Fuji a try. And they're like, I returned it. It's like, what did you return it for? It's like, oh, I, I love the camera. It's incredible. But, uh, you know, I, I used uh, Capture One or... A lot of these applications have gotten better. They're, listen, it was recently named number one again independently. Listen, if you're using a Fuji, you need to buy a Radiant developer, okay? Um, the top three uh, are uh, a Radiant developer. Now Lightroom is number two. However, I think Photo Ninja is technically number two. It depends on what you're shooting. But a Radiant is still far and above the superior. You can use download a free trial of a Radiant developer off of their website. But there is nothing better for processing Fuji RAW files than a Radiant developer. I don't care how much you piss, moan, or complain. It's a Radiant developer. It's like, well, I use Lightroom and I like to... Oh, that's fine, you know? That's kind of like saying I love grandma's mashed potatoes. Like, yeah, I know you love your grandma, but, uh, you know, why don't you try these mashed potatoes and stuff? Wow, these are a lot better. You know, just... People can't draw conclusions unless they've sampled all the stuff. And if you sampled all the stuff, and the people and the pros that have, you know, that want the best out of their raw files. It's a radiant developer, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts. There's no arguing with me. There's no pissing and moaning. It's like, well, but, 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 yeah, but, 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 I get perfectly good results out of Lightroom. I don't know what you're complaining with. Yeah, you do get perfectly good enough results out of Lightroom, okay? Let's not debate that. Let's talk about the best, not what's good enough, you know? A bicycle with no brakes is good enough. It's not very good for stopping, but it's good enough. You know, it'll actually get you there. Let's talk about what is best versus what is good enough. You see me rolling my eyeballs around like a lunatic. So, um, when stuff like that crops its head up, yeah. and it does, it, it always does. And uh, it's like, just because uh, Lightroom processes your uh, Canon or Nikon RAW files excellently doesn't mean it is the best choice the Lightroom has gotten better for your Fuji RAW files, okay? So, um, <clears throat> this video is entitled, Fujifilm End User uh, Stupid Mistake. 
101. Uh, don't use the wrong raw processor for your Fuji raw files and then make some sort of asinine conclusion about Fuji and its awesomeness or lack thereof because you is using the wrong uh, raw processor okay I think I made that pretty simple <laughs> gotta toss in a little humor there right thank you for watching and remember it's a radiate developer then photo ninja uh, then Lightroom, they're both kind of side by side there, depending on the files. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, bye. Uh, Jesus.